what, what is the science behind masks and social distancing? I mean, you know, besides the fact that, that you're, you don't believe that this coronavirus is causing disease, uh, what is there or not there in your opinion? Yeah, well, um, there's not a lot of studies on it. Um, with social distancing, uh, this is a pretty uh, new idea. Um, there is one review article that's in the uh, BMC Public Health Journal. And essentially the main conclusion of that review article is that there are no actual real world studies that are not biased. And they say that there's a couple of real world studies, but they're so biased in how they were designed, you can't really look or trust the outcomes. Then they have other studies that are just done on computer models. And uh, I have you know, direct experience working with computer models at a, a biotechnology company. And I've read a lot about computer, computer models applied to other scientific areas. And computer models are something that is good for generating hypotheses, but they can essentially be tweaked in any way that you want to give any outcome that you want. And the reason for this is simple, that there are just a lot of unknown variables. And depending on how you select the, vari the values for those variables, you influence the outcome of whatever you're looking at. So just like when they had used computer models to um, tell us how many people were going to die of this disease, they were off by, you know, major, major amounts. I mean, not even close to the reality. Um, and that's typically what you find. And so they say that based on the computer models, it shows social distancing might be correct, but I don't think that has any credibility whatsoever. Um, with respect to the masks, um, they, first of all, let me tell you about masks restrict your breathing. And this can be very problematic, even for a healthy person with no uh, breathing or respiratory illness. But for someone who has asthma or COPD or other forms of lung or airway disease, I mean, it could be devastating uh, trying to walk around and do your activities with a mask. On top of that, the materials that the mask is made from um, have uh, potential toxicity in and of themselves. So if you have a fiberglass mask, every time you breathe in, little particles of fiberglass are going into your lungs, and that's known to cause disease. Plus, there are various other solvents and chemicals that may be in there that you're breathing the vapors of that with every breath, and we don't know what the outcome of those things are. There is uh, one study I came across that actually looks at how well masks work uh, for preventing spread of the flu, and they looked at uh, no masks, they looked at uh, medical masks like the N95, and they looked at makeshift cloth masks, which is what a lot of people are using right now. And in that study, and it wasn't very conclusive because the, uh, the conf confidence intervals overlapped one on the relative risk. So that means that it wasn't very strongly powered statistically. So you should take the results with a grain of salt because it might, the result might be actually that there's no difference between any of the masks or no mask. But what the main conclusions of the study were is that the group that wore the cloth masks actually had a higher rate of getting the flu than wearing no mask or wearing the uh, medically produced mask. So if, if you take that seriously, then, then what you would say is that people wearing cloth masks now actually are increasing their risk of getting sick. So it definitely goes against uh, the common uh, wisdom. My main uh, criticism, uh, prima facie of the masks, aside from the psychological and social consequences, is that the pore size of the mask is one to two orders of magnitude larger than the size of a viral particle. So a virus particle is about 100 nanometers, according to what they say about uh, this alleged COVID uh, virus. And um, the pore size of the mask, an N95 mask, is on the order of microns or micrometers. So um, it'd be one to two orders of magnitude difference. So it would be like if you uh, were trying to walk through a door and that door was 100 feet high and 100 feet wide, it wouldn't really stop you. Uh, someone else made an analogy that if you put a chain link fence uh, around your garden to keep out mosquitoes, right? Uh, there's no chance that it would work. So, so I think these masks are for uh, another purpose. 
And I think it's to uh, separate people from each other, alienate people from each other. I mean, if we look um, in our society, who would wear a mask like this, um, aside from a surgeon, it would actually be someone who is a criminal who is trying to hide their identity.